Hey guys, what's going on? Steve Raw here from The Base Hang. I am bringing you this incredible Shold Gen 5 base. It has a burl top that is just highly figured, just beautiful, almost looks, looks three-dimensional. Alder body, look at that beautiful alder body. The finish is, it almost seems like a thinner type of finish that will let the wood breathe. It's really not a heavy, heavy type of lacquer finish. It's kind of between a matte and maybe a satin finish. It's what it feels like. Powell Ferro fretboard. So that's just beautiful fretboard there. Ash neck, purple heart stringer, hip shot hardware. I believe the string spacing is 18.5 mil. Really, really comfortable. You have a zero fret. And then we have the Shold pickups. These are Shold's own design pickups and a Shold John East preamp. So guys, the Shold Gen 5 has a very, very nice layout when it comes to the preamp controls. And the preamp in this base is the Shold East Deluxe Custom Uni Pre. So let's start with this stack knob here. The top knob is our master volume, all right? The bottom little knob here is our pickup panning. So there's a little center notch or center detente. When I turn it all the way, let's say I'm turning up <laughs> or clockwise, it is the neck pickup. If I go all the way back, it's the bridge pickup. And right in the middle, we're both pickups. All right, so again, that knob is our master volume with our pickup panning. This knob right here, closest to the bridge, is a passive tone that works in either active mode or passive mode. So if you pull up that knob, that gives us active or passive mode, which is really, really cool. And that passive tone works when the bass is in both modes, active or passive. So that's what that is, passive tone and preamp bypass. So that's active or passive. Uh, okay, so let's go to these knobs right here. This is a very, very cool setup. This top knob has a center notch. So this is our boost and cut for our mid-range. This is our, our gain. The bottom knob is our frequency sweep. So it's kind of like a sweepable mid. Um, so when you turn it all the way up, you'll hear it almost kind of sounds like a wah pedal and you can really choose different frequencies to boost or to cut and there is a center notch on that knob. And last but not least, the stacked knobs closest to the jack, right? The top knob is our treble boost and cut. Our bottom knob is bass boost and cut. And again, these have little center notches. So when everything is in the middle, it is flat. The other thing I wanna mention, these are Shold custom dual coil pickups. So there you go, guys. That is the Shold East Deluxe Custom Uni Pre. I'm recording direct through the KGB preamp direct box by A Designs, going right into my Apogee Duet and going right into Logic Audio for all of the audio samples. So settings that I'm gonna play through right now are the master volume all the way up. I have both pickups. I am in active mode and I am basically flat. So I have the passive tone all the way up and I have my mid range, bass and treble in the center position. So that's flat. So like I said, playing kind of in the middle range here, low and up high. And as you can hear, it this the low frequencies Those low notes, that low B string is so tight and punchy, it's like it, it, it's exactly like the E string. So this bass is just really, really, really articulate in that low bottom end, which I actually really, really like. And then here's a little slap thing. So again, that was totally flat. So now let's do passive.
I think it's really, really articulate even in passive mode. So here's active mode with the passive tone all the way up. Here's the passive tone all the way down in active mode. Turn it up a little bit. And then all the way up. Down. A little bit higher. And then a little bit higher. I like a passive tone on a bass a lot because I can actually, if if I hear that I'm getting a little bit too much of that high end or that top end, instead of cutting my treble on my EQ, I can just take that passive tone and cut it a little bit. I just really like that. That's a really helpful tool for me. All right, so now let's let's talk about the bass and treble. I'm gonna boost the bass up a little bit. Cut it. I mean, it's really a powerful, powerful <laughs> EQ. That's flat. Boost it a little bit. Yeah, that, that bottom end is nice and big. Here's the treble. Although I would probably tend to use that treble in conjunction with the bass. So here's both treble and bass boosted a little bit. And then here they are flat. Okay, so let's talk about this mid-range. So this mid-range, I turn it up, and I can sweep through some different, turning it up here. Here it almost sweeping those frequencies. Or I can cut it, that was boosting it. Boosting it a little bit more. All right, guys, so now let's pan the pickup. So here's. So that was everything flat, passive tone all the way up, and those both pickups. So here is the neck pickup. Same kind of bass line on the bridge pickup. The thing that blows me away about this bass is the way it feels, and the way it plays. It just really is one of those exceptional instruments that is just made so well, and it just fits your hands just very, very, just naturally. It's just a very natural feeling bass. This bass was handmade by Pete Schold. He actually, I did talk to him, and he actually doesn't use CNCing at all. He actually makes these basses by hand. There's a lot of different models. This is the Gen 5, kind of the more traditional looking bass, which to me, this is very appealing to me. But he does make other models that are a little bit more exotic, a little bit more artistic, which are just gorgeous. But this bass right here really, really speaks to me, the shape, and I just, uh, I just really like this bass a lot. So I hope you enjoyed that review. I hope you enjoyed the sound samples and I, um, I just really like this bass quite a bit. It is very, very incredibly well made. All right guys, thanks again. This is Steve Araujo from The Bass Hang. Stay tuned for more reviews from me and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.